Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we're going to open a supposedly unopened U.S. proof set. So, I recently picked up two different 1956 proof sets. And I say different because I noticed the font is different. Also, there's a difference. Uh, Philadelphia 30 and Philadelphia. And... So it got me to taking a closer look at the packaging and always suspicious of these deals, whether they're truly sealed or not, or unopened. And I have my doubts. So this one kind of uh, has me a little curious. It seems a little puffy, like there might be extra, extra padding inside. And I did go back to take a look at some of my other proof sets. I have 1955 and Notice, Philadelphia, and 30. So even back then, there were different envelopes. So I think they must just have a different supply. I did also find another older 1956 set. Or I say older, one I've had for a while. And this one is kind of more that flat pack design with an end um, flapper. So, interesting. Let's open this one up. Check for dye varieties, uh, cameos, or toners. Let's see what we got. So, of the two sets that I got, this one gave the impression that it had been resealed to me. So, I don't know. And don't know if it's the eBay seller or if it was the, you know, where they got it from before. Um... Ideally, I'd like to kind of preserve the envelope, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible here. So. so, thankfully, there is that extra little layer of protection with the... Uh, my knife skills there, so that is cool. And what do we have here? Uh, so, as I suspected, kind of more haziness than than anything, than any kind of toning. No uh, immediate um, evidence of cameo ness. Let me get set up for. Closer inspection here. We'll see what's going on. Well, actually, let's take a look at this side. Here. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing earth-shattering here. So, and open for debate. It's too too late now. I've opened it, so it doesn't doesn't matter. Let's check. All right, been taking a closer look at all the coins, and unfortunately, yeah, no real cameos or no cameos. Um, and toners or anything like that. Been checking for the dye varieties, but just wanted to bring you in and show you what to look for. So on the Franklin half dollar, uh, that eagle there down to the right, the feathers to the left of the arrows, um, if there are three showing, it's type two. If there are four showing, it would be type one, which is the more valuable one. This one, unfortunately, is type two. So that's the attraction for the Franklin half. So still nice coin. Has a little bit of that haziness from the pliofilm, but that's typical of uh, these kinds of sets. So yeah, no cameo there. The quarter, the thing to look for on this one is a die gouge on the reverse. There's no other real doubling or anything that's um, recognized by PCGS. Um, so what you're looking for, and I can't zoom in well enough here, maybe I'll go to the microscope and try to show that, or maybe I can zoom. I don't know. Um, where the eagle's claw is on the right, if there's like a little thread-like um, metal 
sticking out from underneath the claw there. That's um, considered the die gouge, and this one does not have it. Still a nice coin. Uh, again, looks like it's got a little bit of that hazing from the, the plyofilm, but overall, kind of a cool coin. So the dime, uh, this one, looking for, and in God we trust, be looking for some doubling there and don't see it. So this is the typical issue, no varieties, still nice coin despite the packaging. So, and then the nickel. Let's so we'll start on the obverse. And that's where we're looking in and God we trust again is where the doubling would happen if it's happening at all. So you're looking kind of, uh, it's kind of more evident in the OD and God, uh, but don't have it. So this is probably the nicest coin out of the set here, uh, condition wise. No cameo, but does have a nice um, mirror um, in the field. So, last but not least, we got Abe here. And there's a few, actually, I think that's more in the packaging there. So, again, uh, the varieties on this one uh, looking for doubling and in God we trust. And don't see it on mine. This one also has a die variety on the reverse to look for. And you'd look on the wheat tips there, um, the stem tips, if it's doubled there. But don't have it. So don't know if it's been previously opened or not, but it was still fun to check for the possibility of cameos and things like that. So... To me, it was worth it. I'll use these coins in my albums. I'm starting to work on some new albums that have spaces for proof coins. So stay tuned for that if you enjoy album fill vids. So thanks so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye bye.